tell them. Tell them you need to be burped. Are you gonna throw up on Daddy? Oh, oh! You see that? You see how strong he is? Hello, Nugget. Nugget face. Can I kiss you? Can I kiss you? Can I kiss you? This dude is my everything. Oh, oh! What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here. And today we will be talking about the seven things that nobody tells you about parenthood and how to navigate them. Thing number one, I think that is a huge misconception across the board. And I'm not going to lie, I also believed this thing before I had our child, Kingston, who is so beautiful and so perfect. And that is that babies are fragile. There's this idea that babies are these fragile, breakable little things and if you pat their back too hard, if you pick them up in a particular way, they're just gonna break in half and their head's gonna be mushed to the side and all of this is actual crap. The reality is, is that babies are very durable and amazing and actually need us to hold them and to bounce them and to birth them harder than we think is okay. Right? And we've had so many people come visit and hold the baby and we're like, okay, if you're going to burp him, you have to actually burp him. But they're like, oh, oh, Kingston, I hope everything comes out of your mouth. Speaking of burp, this is some of his throw up on me. Yay! So, that's number one. So many people think babies are so fragile. I did a video the other day of me dancing with my son and I'm, I'm holding him in my arm and take in mind that in our house, we have every contraption you can think of. We're bouncing them around, we're strapping them to us. But this particular day, you're playing music and I'm dancing them around the house and I have him in my arm here. And his head is slightly, ever so lightly, bouncing. And I got all these comments from people. i like, oh, hold his head, he's gonna die, you're gonna give him brain damage. And it's like, people, until you've had a child and understand that children are not as fragile as you think they are, please, shh. Just be quiet. The second thing about parenthood that nobody tells you is that you're going to have poop living all in here. And what I mean by that is, A, you will be peed on, uh, like many times, because they'll pee through the diaper. They will poop through the diaper, and it will be on their clothes, and it'll be on you, and there's gonna come a point where you just smell it no matter what. Like, you could be in the gym, you could be seven miles away, and you're like, I smell my baby's crap. Like, it just lives on you. It becomes your new fragrance. <laughs> I just think it's weird and hilarious that nobody tells you this, but there's a point where you change so many diapers, and you wipe that area so much, and there's so many, like, crappy diapers everywhere that it just becomes the new aroma. I've been told that it gets worse and, and smells a lot worse when they start eating solid food. So for those of you who are in that stage, mm. the third thing that nobody tells you about parenthood is that your old life is dead. Like legit, you might as well have a funeral because who you were previous to this child is no longer. And I don't mean that in a bad way or a negative way. I mean that in the way that you are stepping into uncharted territory. There is aspects of your heart that you didn't know existed until this child came onto the planet. And so things that used to excite you, have you going, no longer sort of check that box because you're fulfilled from a whole nother way. And it's such a beautiful thing. And I think that especially leading into and, and the beginning stages of having a child, I think it could be really tricky for both the mother and the father or whoever the caretaker is because weeks before, a few days before, you could just get up and go to the movies. You could just get up and like do a thing. And now there's like a protocol and a process. You could just sleep through the night and not have to worry or think about this person being smothered or, you know, flipping themselves over, whatever the case may be. And there's a quote about this, your new life is going to cost you your old one. And this is so much real talk, like so much real talk. My suggestion is you embrace it. My suggestion is you celebrate it. My suggestion is you have a funeral for that old life, a coming home funeral, where you celebrate what used to be and embrace and accept and get excited about what's to come, about the journey you're now in, because this is a whole other world. You are stepping into an entire different world. No matter what stage you are at, you can't go back there. 
Once you know, you can't unknow. There is parts of your heart that are just going to be cracked wide open, and it's the most beautiful thing on the planet. The fourth thing that nobody tells you about parenthood that is oh so real is that anything you try to do will be interrupted. You're going to try to take a shower, you're going to try to take a crap, you're going to try to make food, you're going to be interrupted. You cannot send that email fully through. And the sooner one embraces that and understands that children are on their own timeline, they don't have jobs. They don't give a flying F about your job or your schedule. They are going to be up at 2.43 a.m. ready to party. Like literally set it off. Like, let's get it. Yo, y'all, because I'm up. Let's get it. Yo, and if you ain't up, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Oh, and side note on those tears and that crying, when you hear your baby cry, it is like the paramedics are in your house. There's something internally, instinctually that comes out of you and you're going to respond to it, basically. There's just, it, when it's your baby, it's a whole different ballgame. Thing number five that nobody tells you is that everyone is going to have an opinion on how you should raise your child. They, and, and I mean, I'm so serious about this, literally the mailman is going to have an opinion. The security guard at the building that you walk into is going to have an opinion. Everybody on social media is going to tell you you need to have this product or wear this thing or hold your baby this way. Everyone, your parents, ooh, your parents are going to be in your business. Are you circumcising him? You better be. Vaccines? You better be having him shot up a thousand times by now. Everything is going to be coming up for everybody. Everybody's going to know what you should do. The vegans are going to be like, yo, Tell me everything you're doing is vegan. The freaking opposites are going to be like, yo, tell me you're not giving them that vegan crap. Like everybody, like your head's going to explode. And my um, advice, for what it's worth, my opinion on other people's opinion is two things. One, you're going to mess up. There's no way around it. You're going to mess your baby up. Everybody does. Everybody messes their kid up. I'm pretty awesome, and my parents definitely mess me up. And my wife and I lead workshops all over the world and we hear thousands of stories about how people mess their kids up. So let's just get that out in the air and be okay with it because it's going to happen. Now two, there's an instinct. There's a part of you that already knows what to do, where to go, and if you just keep tapping into that thing, listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, listen to that, that voice and discern between what people are telling you and what feels real and right for you because you can only do that. Nobody else can do that for you. And so just focus on that and you're good to go. Now, thing number six that nobody tells you is, and, and I think this is so beautiful and it goes with number five, and that is you always get the right baby. You always get the right baby because your baby chose you and you cannot block your child, no matter what stage, what age they are at, from the medicine they came here to get. My parents have their own demons, and I'm so grateful for their demons because their demons are what created me. You know, I tell my clients all the time, that's not who you are. That's who you became based on the circumstances that you were born into. That's who you became based on the marketing and the media that you were bombarded with. That's who you became based on other people's stories and wounds that they dealt with. And now you get to recreate you get to consciously choose who you want to be in this world. And that's a beautiful thing. Contrast is so amazing. You cannot explain to me what left is if I have no understanding of what right is. And so your baby chose you because you're the perfect parent for that baby. Even if your child under your watch gets hurt. Even if, like hear me, let this land on your heart, it's all good. Everything on this planet is intended here. And so if your baby chose you, however that happened, you get to embrace that because it's all good. I promise you it's all good. And last but not least, thing number seven uh, that nobody tells you is that when you do decide to go on a date night or to do something for yourself or to like just anything, you will experience some guilt. Guilt will come up. The difference between those who are great parents and those who are average parents is what they do with the guilt after. If you experience the guilt where it's like, oh, he's crying, she's crying, I should be right there to pick him up or her up. Or, oh, I took a trip to, you know, 
for a couple days to a spa or whatever the case may be and my mom's watching him oh oh I'm a bad mom I'm a bad dad it's what you do with it after hear me there is no definitive or one way there is no one way to parent all of us are doing the best that we can from where we can with the tools and consciousness we have available so do you stay in your lane do what you think is best for your child with your level of understanding and know that yes it takes a village to raise a child but at the end of the day your decision is the one that counts the most I'm Preston Smiles. If this message affected you, supported you, made you laugh, inspired you in any way, I ask that you share this message to your friends, to your family, wherever. And I just want you to know that you're not alone. Blessings and blessings from the beautiful Venice Beach, California is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Oh. What are we talking about now? Again, and by the way, everybody, this is legit everything. Blessings and blessings, guys. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day.